Hello, my name is Melissa Din and I'm an educator with Karana. Today we're going to show you an approved way of using a hoist to move a client from the bed to a commode chair. Hi, my name is Angela from Total Mobility. To support this we'll be using equipment such as a high-low bed, a jasmine lifter and sling and a high back chair. Good morning Mr Williams. Hi. My name's Melissa. Good morning Mr Williams. My name's Angela. Hi. Today we're going to use a lifter to get you out of bed and into your chair beside your bed. Are you okay with that? Yes, yes. Excellent. So first we're going to make sure that the brakes are on the bed, which I've just checked, and we're also going to make sure that the bed is raised to a safe working height, which Angela's going to do with the remote. While she's doing that, Mr Williams, I'm going to remove the blankets for you. Is that good for you, Angela? Good for me. Thanks Lovely. Melissa. Mr Williams, have you ever been in a hoist before? No. no. Let me show you what the sling looks like. So this is a sling. I'll open it up so that you can see it. And we're going to place this underneath you when we roll you over. So to do that, we need to fold the sling in half with the straps on the outside. And first we need to roll you over, but to do that we need to make sure your body is safe. So we need to remove your second pillow so your spine is flat. If you can just lift your head slightly. And Mr Williams, if you can cross your arms across your chest. And are you able to raise this leg, please? Thank you. So I'm going to get into the lunge position. Angela has her feet shoulder width apart in a good position. One hand is on your hip, the other on your shoulder. And we're going to place a hand on your knee and on your elbow and roll you to me. And at the count of three, we're going to roll you over towards Angela. One, two, three, roll. And I'm going to hold you in position here while Melissa places the sling in the right position. I'm now placing the sling in the correct position behind your back and using my hands I'm sliding the sling in. I'll fold over the top part of the sling only to protect you from any hooks or clasps. So the correct position in this case we're using a head support sling so the top of the sling should be at the crown of your head and the apex and the top of the curve of the sling should be at your tailbone. So Mr Williams, when you roll over, you'll feel a bump. That's the sling. We're going to count to three and bring you back towards me. One, two, three, roll towards me, Mr Williams. Thank you. You can lower that leg now. So now we need to roll you towards me. We're just going to roll you to Melissa to get the rest of the sling through. So bending your knee up. I'm going to place my hand on your hip and your shoulder. I have my hand on your elbow and knee and we're going to roll to Melissa. We're in the correct manual handling positions, our feet are shoulder width apart. So I'm going to count to three and say one, two, three, roll towards me. One, two, three, roll towards me. You're safe Mr Williams, you're not going to fall. So Mr Williams, I'm just going to pull the sling out underneath you, flattening it out, making sure there are no creases or bumps, making sure it's in the right position. So I'm going to count to three Mr Williams and roll you on your back. The sling's behind you now. One, two, three, rolling right back Mr Williams. Well done, thank you. So now we need to place the bottom of the sling between your legs. So if you can raise this leg slightly for me, I'll bring that in. And this needs to be up and flat on the inside of your thigh. And Angela will do, do the same. Then up and flat on the inside of your thigh. Sometimes these leg straps can be crossed over and sometimes they're kept open. We'll be using it open today. So you're now placed when we look at this uh, in the centre of the sling and we're now ready to bring the hoist over. Okay, Mr Williams, we're going to bring the hoist over now. Angela's going to get that now for you. Okay. And as she's doing that, she's going to open the legs of the hoist so that one of the legs is over the brakes of the bed. I'll hold the arm of the hoist so that it doesn't come close to you. And Angela's going to start to lower this down. I'm holding the top of your hands and this part of the hoist. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Ange. So 
whilst we're going to sit Mr Williams in the chair, I'm going to use short on the shoulders and using the white loop on the top. So Melissa's going to put the white loop on as well. Then we're going to use long loops on the bottom. So Mr Williams, if we can get you to bend your knees up please, using the red loop, so the longest loop on the bottom. So we're going up and you'll feel the sling gather you. And at the same time, I'm just going to move the bed down away from you a little bit. So you'll start to feel yourself sitting up. Mm -hmm. Just relax into the sling. It's got you. You're perfectly safe. So we need to raise you up so that your bottom is clear from the bed. For infection control purposes, I'll check that with my eyes, not with my hands. And that's good. So now I'm going to come round to the side of the bed and help support your legs. So Mr Williams, Angela's now moving the hoist out. The sling is taking your weight. Just gently bring your legs off the bed. So I'm just pulling the lifter away. Mr Williams, I'm just gently supporting your legs as Angela pulls the hoist out. Angela's going to bring the feet of the legs together in the hoist to make it easier to move. And now I'm going to help Angela by guiding the hoist in front of the chair. The legs will open again. So Mr Williams, we're just going to make sure that we're very careful here with your lower limbs as we gently turn you around together to the front of the hoist. Thank you. And now Angela's going to push the hoist in over the chair. And you're now over the chair, Mr Williams. So Mr Williams, we're going to use the hoist now to lower you down on the chair. As we do that, I need you to look up so that you're looking at that bar and your head is safe. Mm -hmm. This hoist machine will find its centre of gravity, so it will move slightly back as we're lowering you down. So always standing beside you and making sure you're safe. I'm going to lower you down into the chair and make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Good. Melissa and I are both going to place our hands on your knee, hold the strap at the back here, and help guide you into the chair okay. on three, okay? Good, good, good. So one, two, three. How are you sitting there? Great. All right. Just gonna remove the loops off the lifter bar. Nice and easily. Mr. Williams, I'm just going to move the hoist away now. Free and clear, I'll give Melissa the control. Okay there? Yep. Yeah? So we're just going to help remove the sling. Melissa's going to help on her side. Mr Williams, we're now going to remove the sling from your back. To do that, we need to take the leg straps out. Okay. So first we're going to kneel down. If you're able to gently lift your leg, we're going to fold this strap and very gently slide it out from underneath your leg. Same on this side. And now Mr Williams, Angela and I are going to place our feet in front of your feet. We're placing one hand in front of your shoulder. We are not using an underarm hook. Our other hand is going behind your shoulder. If you could place your hands on the side of your chair and help us with this manoeuvre, that would be good. So Mr Williams, we'll count to three and say forward. One, two, three, forward. Well done. And now we're going to remove the sling from your back. One, two, three, back. Well done, Mr. Williams. You can place your hands wherever you choose. Are you comfortable? I am. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. I'll see you this afternoon, Mr. Okay. Williams. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I'll Pleasure. see you soon. Thank you.